Hey there, it's Kathy Howes with Be Creative with Kathy. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, but tonight's video, I am a craft fair vendor again. So each time I work on a craft fair project, I'm gonna put a video out there and maybe it'll help other demonstrators or just other crafters um, have ideas for um, their craft fairs. Now, most of the ideas that I'll have here, I um, they'll be from some other demonstrator. When I know who it is, I'll let you know. This time, this is a Kathy original, and um, we're gonna use the Santa delivery. Well, really, we're only gonna use the Santa Claus is coming to town stamp, but we're gonna use the designer series paper, this um, Santa Express paper. And what I've done is I've taken this sheet and I've cut it down to six inches by um, two and three fourths inch strips. So it looks like this right and then all these little um pieces like this you can see i've die cut these out of all these um pieces of designer series paper like this and and why i've kept these i'm not quite sure i think i thought someday i might do something with that tree but we'll get into that later and what i'm gonna make looks like this and i thought they were really cute and really simple and then what when i'm ready or when i'm at the well probably before i'm going to even tape this or glue this shut so it's just a little um box like this and then inside i'm hoping i can find a santa chocolate bar and a candy cane and then that's what i'll put inside there but let me show you real quick how i made these now my pillow boxes um came from stampin up a long time ago but no no worries because Stampin' Up! doesn't sell them anymore, but I found them on Amazon and I'll put the link below so you can, um, excuse my cat real quick, there you go. So if you want to make some of these projects, you can too. So I got one of those and if you are interested, these are like three by six. Is that what the measurements are? And if you don't like the ones I send you, you can, no, excuse me, five by three. That's what these are. But like I said, I'll put a link to Amazon to show you where I found some more on Amazon. Okay, so here's my designer series paper, which I've already, I said it somewhere. Did I set it with the other paper? I did, I put it away like this. And I'm gonna start with um, some Seal It Plus. Now, when you're doing craft fairs and stuff like that, I really don't want things to fall apart, especially with 3D projects. So I'm gonna use probably Seal It Plus or stamp and seal plus what is this called stamp and seal with the little plus in the dark blue that's how you can tell but um so nothing falls apart when people buy stuff that would be embarrassing i'm going to take this and i'm going to put just some of that really really stick it adhesive right here and i have my silicone mat because the next part i don't want to get any adhesive on my table although my table is pretty bad as it is I'm going to look at this now on this pillow box, and I think they're all like this. There's this notch in there, and I'm going to make that the back. So I'm going to lay it like this is the the front here, so I'm going to lay the front onto my paper here, trying to get it centered left to right. And then you see where that score line is that the pillow box is going to fold like this. Well, let me hurry and fold it so you can see what I'm talking I don't think you're going to be able to see it even afterward. But the pillow box folds like this and I'm going to put that paper just above that on my box here okay so I don't know it's not going to be perfect every time either and I'm going to try to get it straight and centered looks close enough right okay and then I'm going to fold this over this way and fold this over this way now you can see there's a little gap here but I wanted to get as much out of my designer series paper as I can and I don't think the gap is going to make that much of a deal because it's on the back and I'm going to kind of cover it up anyway but then I'm going to take some more of that really strong tape and I'm going to put it toward the edge so that the edge of my paper doesn't come off of my box and I'm going to do the same thing over here and then just lay it down and that's why you know my silicone mat kept that tape from sticking to my work surface okay there we go i got it on there nice and centered or sealed and it's it's um is the same shape as the box now and we're all good that way easy right okay so then i have this really thin um tear and tape and i'm going to start on the back and i'm not going to start with the seam because see how it's kind of unlevel i'm going to try to hide that seam as much as i can so just somewhere on the back 
I'm going to run my little tear and tape along the edge of my designer series paper here and then just tear it off so the ends kind of meet. There again, it doesn't have to be perfect. I do like to do a good job on my craft fair projects, but little imperfections like that, trust me, I'm the only one that's going to see them. Other people won't see them. Okay, then I'm going to use my little take a pick tool or some pokey edge. Helps you get that tape off or the cover, not the tape, we want the tape to stay there, the cover to that tape off. And I'm only going to take it as far as to the edge. That way, if I took it all the way off, this part would stick to my table, and I don't want that to happen. Then along with that Santa Express Suite, we have this, what is this stuff called? Iridescent trim. And it was really cute, I think, as like snow at the bottom of my box. So I'm going to just start my trim where that tear and tape started and just stick that down to the tear and tape and I'm being really careful I don't want to stretch my trim I want my trim to just lay on there nicely I think if I stretch it eventually it'll stretch back and then it'll fall off and I'm trying to get it straight but then again snow's not straight anyway so we don't even care I'm going to take that rest of that cover off and finish my little trim here and then with my scissors that cut fabric which are not where they're supposed to be oh well we'll use these these cut anything these are like the bomb stampin up sold these a long time ago i wish they would come back because they're the best scissors ever okay anyway let's move on so now look how cute we have that little i'm going to call it um little row of snow on there okay and then like i told you before i took all these little santa sleighs and cut them from the designer series paper i'm going to just put some dimensionals and here again i am not going to be stingy with the dimensionals especially because my pillow box here has a little bit of a curve to it and i really want my um train sorry i can't peel off dimensionals and talk at the same time but I want my train to stay on there. So I'm going to take my little train here, take those dimensional backs off, and just set him right here at the edge over toward this side. And like so those wheels are right on that snow. So it looks like that. And then with this little caboose thing, oh look, there's two of them here. Let me only use one. I'm going to do the same thing, and this little guy I'm going to put on the back, and that's going to kind of hide that seam that um, wasn't perfect. And when you cut them out of the designer series paper, one sheet, you know, gives you quite a few, so we might as well use them up, right? Okay, we'll turn him over and put him on the back here and kind of hide that seam. It's not going to hide it all the way, but look, it's like less, you don't see it as much now. Okay, then before I, um, well, at least fold the bottom of my box, I'm going to put a hole up here. See at the top here? Um, I just think it needs something up here, so I'm going to take just a one-inch hole punch. And I'm going to try to just guess about where it would go. My, my thinking is most of them have been, oh, and look, I put my Santa on the back and I put my caboose on the front don't tell anybody and don't make that mistake when you do it and I'll show you why later but anyway back to my punching I am um, I'm gonna go through that um, score line here but when you have the punch in there oh I guess you can see it I was thinking I couldn't see it but I can and really my punch is almost all the way in I'm making sure it's straight or centered nicely here and I'm just gonna punch those out and now look my little pillow box has that cute little hole and if the, if, well, in a sec, I'll tell you more in a second. Okay, okay. so then I'm going to take this and I'm going to open. I'm really going to fold those um, score lines there and do this one. And I'm going to do this one. And you've noticed I'm doing them one at a time. I don't have them both folded just because I really want to pinch it in there. And if you have them both in there, you can't get that nice fold, that nice pinch. But then I'm going to put this one in first because if you try to unfold it, although it wouldn't matter, you have that notch there. But well, like I said, when I'm all done and if I'm happy with my candy, I'm probably, before I go to my craft fair, going to glue these shut. But we'll see. I'm still waiting for candy to come out. There's no candy in the... Um, in the stores yet. Now, this is what I'm showing you. See, now here you have the notch in the front. I don't really like that. I should have paid attention and put the Santa sleigh or the Santa, that's not a sleigh, that's a train on this side. 
So when you make yours, if you happen to, make sure you get it on the right side. Okay, and then the last thing we need is we need a little greeting or sentiment on there. So I just have a scrap here of um, basic white. I have some shaded spruce ink, and that's just a dark color from the designer series paper. I usually like to stamp my greetings in a dark color. And I have that little stamp that says Santa is coming to town, which I think is adorable. Now, so I have to cut less. I'm going to line it up with the side of my paper over here, and I'm going to start. Now, it looks to me like this edge is um, crooked, so I'm going to turn it over and make my bottom straight this way. There we go. And then see if I get my head in the camera. And where is my pierce mat? Hold on, I need my pierce mat because it's a photopolymer stamp and we want a really nice image. Okay, so it's right. I'm going to put it down here in the corner like this. Whoops. There you go. Like that. Then I only have to cut on three sides. In fact, if you don't mind, I'm going to go ahead and do a couple more because <laughs> I have a couple more of these to make. Might as well go ahead and do four. I have room on my little paper here. Okay, and then to cut this out, I'm going to just bring in my little tiny paper trimmer here. I'm going to kind of line it up here where I want it. I think that looks maybe a little too, huh? There we go. Yeah, look, that looks just right, nice and centered. It looks pretty straight, too. I'm kind of impressed, and usually I don't stamp that straight. But let's go back a little bit here. And then, look, I'm going to just take and cut those little sentiments out so now Santa can come to town on all my little pillow boxes. Okay, I'll cut those out later. I'll show you how to finish the project. So I have my little train here. I'm going to undo this because I think it's easier to do when he's flat. I'm going to just take a dimensional here. Because I have dimensionals under my train, I want this to be my sentiment to be flat. I'm going to just take my dimensional, put it here. And then with just a little bit of liquid glue. Well, no, let's use tape runner. It's faster. A little bit of tape runner under the Santa part over on this edge. And then lay that just like that and look how cute so now that I have it backwards I'm going to go this route on the bottom at least to look a little better right when I put that Santa um, candy bar in there and a candy cane I think that's a cute little gift let me show you all the ones I have done now if you're looking for my project because so far I think this is only the second one that I shared I made something really cute today that I'll probably share tomorrow or the next day but look I've been working pretty hard to get I guess that's all of them. I need to make a lot more. But there you go. But anyway, as I was saying, I'm going to put all my um, craft fair projects on my blog, BeCreativeWithKathy.com. And then all you have to do is go over there and search craft fair. And I'll have all these videos on the same post. And you can just go down there and find them in case you need to see them again. Okay, so there would you go. I'd love to hear what you think of my little pillow boxes. I think they're really cute. Like I said, if you need any of the products, they're all on my online store with the exception of the pillow box, but I'll put the Amazon um, link below so you can find them there. Alrighty, that's all I have. I hope you have a great evening. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.